All right guys, welcome back. We are officially doing this thing. We're moving into a new apartment. I'm coming at you with a Seattle apartment hunting video. I'm gonna take you through all of the apartments that Yoni and I toured. I'm gonna show you our final pick. Um, let's just get into it, shall we? First of all, I live with my partner, Yoni. We currently live in a one bedroom apartment. We moved in here about a year ago. This apartment was great. It was really unique. Um, a lot of new buildings in Seattle have the same kind of look to them, the same layout. So we kind of nailed it with the this apartment because it was very different than all the other ones. It has like a whole wall that's full of wind and at the time we were super into the like new modern vibes right now our priorities have changed a little bit don't get me wrong this apartment is great summertime in this apartment guys it's so hot in here I'm like not as crazy with the window situation obviously I want it to be bright especially because I make YouTube videos but I'm not as like crazily obsessed with it so that priority has definitely changed also, we are going away from that modern look. I want to go towards a more old, vintage, New York style apartment. I feel like it has more character and it has more personality. And also a huge one was that we wanted to go into a new area of Seattle. We've mostly been in like the northern part of Seattle, which doesn't feel like you're in the middle of a city. And I want to be able to walk outside of my apartment and walk in a direction for like five minutes and I get to something. I get to a restaurant, I get to a bar, I get to a grocery store. So we were specifically looking in the Capitol Hill area. People in Seattle call it Cap Hill. It's basically an area that is really popular, especially for younger people. Our goal was to be close to that area, but have our apartment somewhere where if you go to our apartment, it's quiet and you're not like in the middle of everything. It's also very young. It's very diverse. It's also very inclusive. And I just absolutely love the energy of that area of Seattle and I've never actually lived in that area and since this might be our last year in the city we were like you know what we just have to go and live in Cap Hill for one year and experience that for this apartment we pay 1600 plus a hundred dollars a month for utilities so technically 1700 with utilities this time around we were looking for an apartment that was under two thousand dollars which honestly wouldn't be that much more it would only be around a hundred $50 more each per month. You have to look consistently and also that the best websites for Seattle are definitely Zillow, but more specifically Craigslist. And honestly, I didn't know this. There are so many apartments on Craigslist that are legit, that are for real. Also, another tip is that you should always call whatever the person or the number that shows up on the listing. Don't text them, don't email them because they get so many emails and texts that they will not get to yours in time and somebody else was probably ahead of you. So yeah, but before we get into the actual apartments, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I designed an online portfolio that captures my YouTube work and Instagram and podcast. They make it so easy to connect all of your social media accounts and display your posts from your social profiles on your website. I also created a member area, which allows me to connect with my audience and generate revenue through members only content, such as a newsletter. And also on top of this, they have incredible analytics that allow you to gain powerful insights about your website, visitors, and how they interact with your content. So go and check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com com slash aliazaitza to save ten percent off of your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so for the first apartment, it wasn't as close to the area as we wanted it to be, but it was still close enough. So this apartment was from the 1920s, which definitely had that vintage vibe we were looking for. And it was a 650 square foot, one bedroom apartment, and it was going for $1,795. In Seattle, there are always utilities on top of that. And usually they kind of vary, but for the purpose of this video, I kind of averaged it as $100 for utilities with utilities it would actually be 
1895, which is basically 1900 a month, was on the southwest corner, which means it had really great light. It kind of got the same similar light that I get in this apartment right now. The bedroom was a relatively good size. It had some built-ins for closet space, which is really, really great. But at the same time, even though on the video it actually looks kind of big, you wouldn't really have much space for anything else other than a bed, which for some people is totally fine. But we were kind of looking for a bedroom that was slightly bigger than this one. The living space was definitely pretty bright and really spacious. I think you could really fit a couch in there as well as a dining table, which I definitely want to have in this apartment this time. I loved the fact that the kitchen had this really nice entryway and the kitchen also had an eating area so you could put the dining table in the eating area. I also really loved the kitchen layout, the fact that it kind of had a U shape. So for like filming purposes and aesthetics, it would be really, really nice. It also had that very sought after floor that's like the checkered black and white floor. And whenever I see that, I'm just like, it's just perfect and that's what I was looking for. So I really, really liked the kitchen. For this apartment specifically, it was a pretty good apartment in a sense of style and space and everything but the location was just not what I really, really desired. And for that reason, we just wanted to keep looking. So the second apartment that we went and saw was basically kind of on the same street as the first one, but a little bit lower. So it was more of a walkable distance away. This apartment was 750 square feet, which was a really good size. And it was going for 1,795. This one had a $90 utility on top of that. So basically getting close to that $1,900. This apartment was really, really, really nice. We absolutely loved this one. It was super bright. There were so many windows. They had just freshly finished the floors. As soon as we walked in, we were like, oh my God, this apartment is amazing. The one thing that we just couldn't get past is the fact that the bedroom was really, really, really small and you would only be able to walk on the side of the bed and that's it. You couldn't really walk in the room, like the room was just going to be a bed and that's it. And it also didn't have much storage or closet space and especially in the bedroom there was like no space to put anything else for storage purposes. So that was kind of the only thing about this apartment that was like like no if the bedroom would have been bigger it would have been perfect the layout of this apartment was also really nice i love that there was a separation for the kitchen that's what we were looking for we didn't want to have the living space and the kitchen in the same room we really wanted to have that separation just because i think it's nice to have like multiple rooms and you don't feel like you're always in the same room the kitchen was also updated it was freshly painted i didn't love the fact that everything was kind of like super gray like all the cabinets were gray also the floor was gray but still it wasn't a big deal because the bedroom was so significantly small we just like couldn't imagine having such a small bedroom but even though everything else was perfect the bedroom was just a little bit too small for us so for the third apartment this was a one bedroom apartment that was in a more central area to cap hill and even though that is what we were trying to go for it was right next to cal anderson which if you don't know cal anderson park is right in the middle of cap hill you don't really want to live like super close to it just because Sometimes if you want quiet, you wanna be able to have quiet. And if you live super close to it, you might not be able to have quiet. So anyways, we still wanted to check it out. This was a 600 square foot one bedroom apartment and it was going for 1700 plus utilities. It was gonna be around $1,800. You know, with an apartment, the first impression is kind of everything and you can really tell if you're feeling it or not. And with this place, as soon as we walked in, we weren't really feeling it. It was okay, but the kitchen didn't really inspire me. There wasn't anything that like said to me, oh, I can really see myself living here. Also, another thing too, is that it wasn't super, super bright and the bedroom had enough light, but essentially, I don't know, for some reason, the whole apartment just didn't like click with me. You definitely want the apartment to click with you. Um, the living space was okay. But I don't know, again, it just wasn't, it just wasn't the vibe. For our fourth apartment, we looked on the other side of Cap Hill and it was kind of like a Northeast side apartment. This apartment was from 1929. So it definitely had this vintage look, 600 square feet, and it was going for 1,695 
plus utilities, you would kind of get close to that 1800 mark. As soon as we walked into the apartment, we saw the fact that the whole apartment is facing another building. So it was immediately like, oh God, no, because you do want to have a nice view, even though it's not like some craziness, you want to have a view. And also because it was facing another building, that means the light was not going to be great. The rest of it was just kind of average. There was nothing super, super special about it. The bathroom was okay. It had the vintagey kind of feel with the tiles. But the living area, even though it was pretty spacious and had the extra storage, if this apartment was maybe like higher up and it wasn't facing another building, maybe we would have liked it more. But I just can't be in a place that is not bright enough and it also has absolutely no view. You might as well have like no window. Um, so unfortunately, we had to pass on this one. All right, so for our fifth apartment, this one was in a great area, like absolutely exactly what we wanted. It was at the edge of the east side of Cap Hill. This was again, another one bedroom apartment at 650 square feet and it was going for 1,825 plus utilities, which was basically taking it to 1900. As soon as we walked in, I definitely got a good first impression. The bathroom, you know, I don't really care much about the bathroom as long as it is clean and it has everything it needs. I like the fact that it was a cloth foot tub. It definitely felt a little special. And the bedroom was a really good size. You had enough space for a bed and probably one nightstand or two. There was some closet space in there, which we always love but even though it wasn't that much, you had enough space to add extra closet space, like a dresser in the bedroom. The living space was really cute. It had that little windowsill area. It also had this built-in, which I was already kind of obsessed with. I love built-ins because it just adds so much to the apartment. And I was really, really loving the living room area. And the only thing was that it wasn't very big. The kitchen, however, I really, really liked the kitchen. I liked that it was with wood, it was warm, but it was still kind of like white and fresh and light and it also had a huge huge pantry which i've never seen this in any apartment in seattle so overall i really like this apartment i think the thing that kind of kept me away from it was just the fact that the living space was really a little bit too small for what i imagined and that reason it wasn't like 100 like yes this is it but we still were really considering it because everything else was kind of checking the box and I really, really liked it. Now, the next apartment building we looked at is an apartment building that I feel like if you live in Seattle, you've probably seen many times if you're driving to Cap Hill or away from Cap Hill because it is right at the entrance of the freeway. And I've always wondered what this building looked like in the inside because on the outside, it looks very like 1920s, like New York style. The unit that was available was a 650 square foot, one bedroom apartment. It was going for 1,750 and with utilities, it would take it to around 1,800. So the bathroom of the apartment was pretty basic, but it was still really nice. I liked that it was really light since there's no window in there. So the lighting inside was white, was bright. Also had a lot of extra storage, which in the bathroom I feel like is really nice to have. There's also extra storage as soon as you walk in, which was great. The living area was definitely a little bit dark for my preference. Um, so I would have liked it to face in a different direction. And I think it was east facing, but there was also a lot of trees blocking the light. The kitchen pretty tiny but I think it was really cute and for some reason it didn't bother me that it was that small since I really liked the rest of the apartment and the vibe that it gave me the living space and the bedroom was separated by this really beautiful open I think they're called French doors I don't know but it just gave it such a charming aspect to the whole space and you can have it open or you can have it closed and then the bedroom was pretty big the only thing about the concept of having those like see-through window doors there isn't enough separation from the living space and the bedroom and while we were finishing up looking at the first unit he actually told us that there was a second unit that was about to come on the market and as soon as we walked into the second unit, we absolutely were like, oh yeah, this is 100% better. 
because first of all, the lighting in there was way brighter. There was actually a window in the bathroom. And overall, like the living space was way brighter because it actually had direct sunlight coming in. It was south facing. The kitchen was also a little bit bigger and it had that really cute checkered black and white tile on the ground, which I am just a sucker for because it was on a corner. It has this round side of it. So the bedroom was actually round. It wasn't a straight kind of rectangle and that's definitely unique. However, I think that it makes it harder to figure out exactly where you're gonna put your furniture and how you're gonna decorate it. So after seeing both of these units, we really, really liked them. And the second unit specifically was at the top of the list. However, the thing about this building specifically is that the location it was in was right by the freeway, which means it was really, really loud. And when it comes to recording videos, also when recording the podcast, we just need to have quiet. It was also super hard to find parking and it was also like not super safe. And I wanna be able to feel like I'm safe to walk on the street by myself from my car to my house. So for that reason, there was a little bit of holding back, but we still really like the apartment. All right, so the next apartment that we went and saw was in a really good location. It kind of checked off all the boxes in terms of the area we wanted to be in. It was a 720 square foot apartment and it was going for 1,950, including utilities. This was a top floor unit on the fourth floor and it had Southwest facing windows. As soon as we walked in, we were like, oof, 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 this, this might be it. The living area was really big. It had a lot of light without being too crazy bright. And uh, mind you, it was a super gloomy day, the day that we went and saw the apartment. Kitchen was pretty simple. It wasn't anything crazy. It was actually updated by someone that lived in here before. And it also had an eating part, like an eating area in the kitchen, which I really liked because it gives you more space in the kitchen. The living space was definitely pretty big. This is the best part there was a walk-in closet. And guys, I have never had a walk-in closet. And I was just like, not that it's a huge deal for me, like it's not like a must, but for some reason, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I think like we need this. We need a walk-in closet. And then we go to the bedroom and the bedroom is also a good size. And it was bright and there was enough space to have the bed. Maybe you can make like the office space also in the bedroom. There was another closet in the bedroom. There was also another closet in like the walking area as soon as you walk in. So this could be like a coat closet. So we wouldn't have to worry about like winter clothes. And then you walk into the bathroom and there was all that extra storage again, which I was like, how is this possible to have so much storage? And the bathroom was really cute, really charming. It definitely had this old vintage aesthetic, which I didn't mind. It was definitely a little bit darker than my personal preference. I like just the white bathroom, but you know, I was still vibing. It was different, a lot of storage. And honestly, the bathroom is like the last thing I care about. But overall, I was just like, this apartment has everything. It has the space that I want. It has the coloring that I want. It has the vintage charm that I want. And the kitchen is updated. It's not super, super old. If not obvious enough, this is the apartment that we ended up applying for and we actually got it right away. We literally drove home so fast and we applied right away because there was actually somebody that was going to see this apartment right after us. In the next day or so, we got it. And then in the next couple days, we signed the lease. So this obviously is our new apartment and I'm so excited to get in there and to put all our stuff everywhere and decorate it. Yeah, I'm just super excited to get in there and to decorate it and to live there and to also be in the area and have like, a new experience of the city. I hope that this video was somewhat entertaining or interesting. Let me know if you think I should have picked a different apartment. Maybe you think so and you're like, how did you not pick that one that you saw? So let me know which apartment you would have picked. Yeah, thanks for watching and um, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next week.